Hey, what's up everybody? It's No Joe Coward coming at you live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the heart of Southeast Asia, bitches. I just did a video 20 seconds ago. I'm doing another one because I have shit to do today, guys. I'm a busy man. Um, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment before we get started. As always, hold on. Am I creepy? Am I creepy and a fucking douchebag? Am I a creepy douche? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. I am, guys. Go fuck yourself. So I have an email today. That's, it's titled, Yo, Bro. What's up, dude? Yeah, man. Yo, bro. Guy's name is Sam. Sam says, Yo, boss. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why that's so funny to me. Yo, boss, I'm Sam from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania beautiful? Eh, it's, got, it's got parts. Yeah, uh, definitely western Pennsylvania, not so much eastern PA. Anything like east of Harrisburg is a fucking shithole. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Go fuck yourself, Sam. No one gives a fuck. Yeah. Uh, haha, I was just wondering what the hell made you decide to head to Cambodia. And what is their society's view of white people? Do they like us? Hate us? Tolerate us for our money? Keep up the great videos. You're the fucking man, LOL. All right, Sam. Well, good email. And, and, and good questions, too. Even though you're a fucking piece of shit from Pennsylvania. Um, even though, actually, my, my mother's side of the family is from Pennsylvania. And uh, they're, they're, they're from, like, Southern PA and Somerset County. So if you ever go to Somerset County, that's where, that's where my mother's side comes from. And I know what everybody right now is thinking. No joke. We do not give a fuck about where your family's from. Get to the man's questions and answer them in a timely manner, please. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I digress. So what, what the hell made me decide to move to Cambodia? Well... I don't want to drag this on, and I, I have made several videos, but I'll but I'll briefly uh, explain. I mean, basically, just to keep it short and sweet, I I was in a very bad position back in the states. I was engaged to a uh, to very a, a woman I love very very much at the time, and uh, you know we ended up breaking up. Uh, this was in July. We broke up in July of 2014, so last July. And then in January 2015, we were still living together. Even though we were broken up, we, we, we agreed to stay together uh, just in the apartment to save money on rent. We just split the cost, but we, you know, like we didn't speak to each other. So you can imagine how uncomfortable that was, how awkward it was. And like, I was always thinking, man, maybe she's out fucking other dudes. Like, am I going to come back to the apartment seeing a dude fucking pounding her with his 12 inch fucking boa constrictor? you know, doggy style or some shit, like, 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 am I going to walk home to that or so, you know, it was just always in the back of my mind, like, it was just, it was such a bad, awkward situation, it was, it was not good for, for either of us, so I basically made the decision, you know, because I was training Muay Thai, like kickboxing, whatever, uh, full time at the time, and I figured, you know, you know what I want to do, you know what, fuck it. You know, I have a bunch of money saved up. I have nothing going for me here, except the only thing I enjoy doing is training Muay Thai. That's, that's, that's really it. I, I like to smoke weed, I like to kickbox, and I like to draw. I like, you know, because I enjoy drawing. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. So, I was like, alright, well, so I got on my iPhone at the time, at the, at the time I had an iPhone, I don't need more, and I fucking bought a ticket. I uh, just like, it very, it was like an impulse decision. It was literally like within 20 minutes of making my decision, I just bought a one-way ticket to Bangkok. So a month later, after I blew all the shit up, I got my truck repossessed. I got ditched the lease on my apartment. I quit my fucking job. I told everybody I'm, I'm moving to Thailand. So you can imagine what a shock it was for everybody to hear this. Like, whoa, you're you're moving to Thailand? Like when? In a month? You're going in a month? What are you What are you doing? I had so many fuck people telling me I was going to fuck up and fail. I was going to come home with my tail between my legs like a little sad dog. Well, needless to say, I'm doing better than I've ever been doing in my whole life. I'm more successful. I'm so fucking happy. I have the most awesome friends I've ever had. And I can't imagine being back in Washington, D.C. or Virginia 
Dude, I don't don't even get me started, man. Like 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 I'll get like I'll I'll get borderline depressed. Anyways, so I trained Muay Thai in Thailand for a little bit. I visited. And I actually decided to come to Cambodia to teach English because it was easier for me to do. And I realized how much I hated teaching English, and I did, I don't really like children a lot. I, I'm really not a fan of dealing with kids all day and working for other people. So I eventually started my own personal training gig, which I'm doing now, and I'm doing all right with it. And I've uh, fought professionally here, kickboxing and all that. So that's why I came to Cambodia. Now, what is society's view on white people here? Generally speaking, white people are highly respected. Um, you know, I'd say generally speaking, pretty much all the foreigners are, but namely white people simply because it's their perception that white people have a lot of money, um, which isn't really always the case. I mean, I'm, I'm white and I, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm poor, you know? I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of, you know, like Middle Eastern people that might come through here, Indians or even Africans who have a shitload of money. So, but their, their perception is that white people are super, super rich and that they're more educated and that Western culture is better and superior and that they want to bring it into theirs. They want to um, um, intertwine Western culture with their culture. Not, not all of them, but a lot of them do. Do they like us or hate us? I mean, yeah, like I said, they typically, I mean, unless you come here starting problems, like unless you come here to do drugs and fuck hookers and um, get prostitutes and all that and cause trouble, then, then, then they're going to like you a lot. They tolerate us for our money. Yeah, I mean, white people, it's definitely expected that you're going to have money. And a lot of Khmer women go after white men just for that because you see some ugly fucking white dudes. Ugly as fuck, fat, old, sloppy, just nerdy, awkward, fat back. 12 cheeseburger eating jelly back fucking back and neck looks like a fucking pack of hot dogs cue ball head having just micro penis fucking it's just a shit show and they're with these dime pieces these fucking dime pieces of Kamai women so beautiful but they got money so it doesn't matter guys it doesn't matter if you have no personality or you're ugly as fuck All right? or if you have a dick the size of my fucking pinky Anyways, man, I hope I answered your question. I hope this video didn't go on too long, but that's a little bit of background as to why I came to Cambodia. Um, yes, Cambodians, typically speaking, have no issue with white people in a negative way. They seem to like whitey just fine. Um, and mo most foreigners here get respect, unless you're here to cause trouble. So anyways, guys, I'm No Joke Howard. Uh, stay in touch, no joke striking at gmail.com. You can also leave comments, uh, you know, leave comments. Uh, you know, if you leave a douchey comment, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not going to respond to you. If you email me about where to get drugs or how much the TEFL teachers make, I'm not going to respond. If you leave a comment telling me that I'm stupid or my videos suck, obviously I'm not going to respond to you. Um, so anyways, guys, pleasure speaking to you. Go fuck yourself. Peace.